Tragedy off I-205 this morning when a car left the roadway crashing right into a tent, killing a man inside that tent. Tonight, investigators are working to learn why the car went off the road. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 11 o'clock. I'm Wayne Haverly. That crash happened at the Southeast Powell exit. That's near the northbound ramp, and it has many asking what can be done to prevent a similar event from happening again. Coin 6 is Jennifer Dowling. She's digging deeper into this tonight, into this situation. She joins us live with more on what ODOT plans to do following the crash. And Jennifer, there are so many of these homeless camps along the roadways now, and we've actually seen tragedies very similar to this before. We have Wayne. It's a dangerous situation there, and ODOT will be looking in the days ahead, according to spokesperson Don Hamilton, into what exactly happened and if there's anything they can do to try to prevent another similar tragedy in the future. In this area of I-205 in Powell, tents dot the landscape, some sitting very close to the Southeast Powell Boulevard off-ramp, where a man lost his life just before 3.30 early Sunday morning. When police arrived, they say they found a Honda sedan crashed into an occupied tent. The man inside was dead, the woman driving the car seriously injured. We see a lot of dangers associated with this, and we've seen another tragic example of why this is unsafe. ODOT spokesperson Don Hamilton says homeless camping near Oregon's highways is a problem statewide. We've seen this in the past before, where cars have gone spinning off the road and hitting somebody who is... Uh, residing right next to the road like that. It's dangerous. We try and do everything we can to make sure that some of these campers stay away from the road. Hamilton says anytime there's a crash like this, they'll look at what they can do to make sure it doesn't happen again, including looking into safety factors in those areas. We've used a couple of things as a disincentive to try to make sure people are not camping near the road. Fencing is certainly one of them, but the rocks have been a very effective disincentive in some areas too. Uh, we're going to be looking at a lot of things for this area. Find out what more we can do to try to keep this area safe. And as far as actually removing campers, Hamilton says that the city is in charge of cleaning out camps if they are within city limits, which those would be. Reporting live, Jennifer Dowling, Coin 6 News. Yeah, sounds like it's going to take a coordinated effort to do something about this. Thank you, Jennifer.